What is up guys, welcome back to Rip City Rundown. And I was just scrolling through my social media timeline today on Twitter and I saw this graphic come up about Anthony Simons, saw it, immediately wanted to make a video on him because we just don't really realize the insane success he's having right now and the history he's making. Um, this graphic was posted by Jason Quick and it's from the Blazers PR department and it just goes to show that Anthony Simons is having a historic year right now. Um, so I'm just going to jump into the graphic straight off the bat. Um, the title of the graphic is Anthony Simons most improved player in the making. And it gives so many statistics on him and just how good he has been. Um, first off, since taking over the starting role on January 3rd, he's put up 22.8 points per game. 2.7 rebounds per game, 5.9 assists per game, 4.2 threes made a game on 45% shooting, 42 from three, 85 from free throw line, and 58% efficient field goal percentage, and a 60% true shooting percentage along with a 110 offensive rating while having a 26% usage rate. Now you ask me, what does all that mean? Um... It quite frankly means Anthony Simons is going off this year. 22 points per game since he's been starting. Five and a half, 5.9 assists, excuse me, on 42% from three with a usage rate of 26.2. That is a huge usage rate. He is the guy running the offense, and he is involved in the majority of the plays. Um, his totals for this season uh, will compare his career totals prior to this season to his now total season. So obviously he's averaging 23 points, 22.8 since taking over, but for the full season, including his time when he was a backup role, um, he's averaging 17 points per game this year compared to seven and a half in his career total prior to the season. He's averaging 2.6 rebounds compared to two. Um, 3.9 assists compared to 1.3. Made three threes per game compared to 1.3 is now shooting 44% from the field instead of 41, 40% from three exactly instead of 38, and 88% from the line instead of 79. Um, he's up to his points by 10 and his assists by two and a half, added two more threes to the arsenal, and has gotten even better shooting. This guy's really good, guys. Um, they give another column, Ant in the record books. Um, so just a couple records that Anthony Simons has broken so far. Um, so he tallied his 30th career start on February 14th at Milwaukee, nailing seven three-pointers to set the NBA record for most three-pointers made in a player's first 30 starts with 113. That is breaking the record of Devontae Graham that Graham set in 2019-2020 of 112. So he has the most three-pointers in first 30 starts of his NBA career. That's history right there um he's got the most three pointers in a single month of a player 22 or younger with 67 breaking the previous record of 53 set by anthony edwards and zach levine he broke by 14 he had an insane month of january uh, he got most games with five plus three pointers made by a player age 22 or younger in a season uh, second all time on that, and he obviously can still uh, get more of those throughout the year. Trae Young had 20 in 2019 2020. Simons has 17 this year, and then he is tied for fourth for most games with five plus three pointers made by a young player or by a player age 22 or younger of all time. And this is really just from this year, or maybe a couple times previously. He's got 23 of those. Um, the best is Luca, who had 39. Luca's obviously on another planet, but. Simons is in a list of Luca, Trey, Devin Booker, D'Angelo Russell, and Free Simons. Um, again, historic season. Um, and the final column they have on here is Stellar Simons. He's joined James Harden, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, and Gary Trent Jr. as the only players in NBA history to record 29 plus points and 5 plus three pointers in at least four straight games. And he did that from February 9th to February 16th. What's crazy is that's three Blazers or former Blazers on that list. Gary Trent Jr. is on that list, and the Blazers had him, and they have Simons, and they have Lillard, making that Norman Powell trade look a little bad. 
doesn't look too good right now, but that's in, that's that's crazy company right there for Simons. Um, it also says Simons is making 40% of his three-point attempts while averaging 7.6 attempts per game. He is on pace to become the second youngest player in NBA history to shoot above 40% from three while attempting at least seven three-pointers per game over the course of a season. He's shooting the ball efficiently, and he's shooting a lot of them. That's going to equal a lot of points. It says at 22 years and 209 days old, Simons became the youngest player in franchise history to score 40-plus points when he scored a career-high 43 against the Atlanta Hawks. Simons is also the first player in NBA history to have two games with nine or more three-pointers before turning 23. Only player in NBA history. Again, historic season here from Anthony Simons in Portland. And the final thing they have on here is Simons is averaging 4.2 three-pointers made since becoming a full-time starter on January 3rd. Only four players in NBA history have averaged at least four three-pointers per game for a full season. Steph Curry's done six times. James Harden's done it twice. Dame's done it twice. And Fred Van Vliet has done it once. And that's NBA history anybody. Not like under 22. That's anybody. And Simons has at least been doing it since he became a starter. Um, So with all that being said... Anthony Simons is having a historic season. He is making history for the Blazers right now. And in my opinion, he is the favorite for most improved player. You got guys like Jaw up there. Jaw's made a huge jump this year, and no denying that. Um, Who else is up there for most? Tyrese Maxey, Desmond Bain. Those guys have made huge jumps too. But Simons went from a guy that is seen as a young project, backup role, He's now viewed as a future all-star in this league. Everyone knew Jaw was going to be a future all-star. He is now that all-star, but everyone knew his jump was coming significantly at some point. Anthony Simons, no one expected this jump to this level at this point. So that's why I think he deserves to be rookie of, or excuse me, not rookie of the year, most improved player this year. Um, Again, he's having a historic season, and I just wanted to shed light on the amount of records he's already broken this year. Um, so with that being said, that's really all I got for the video. I just wanted to bring out this graphic for you, put it in video format, um, comment down below if you think Anthony Simons is the favorite for most improved player. Um, and also comment down below if you saw this jump coming from him prior to the season, because I for sure didn't. Um, so make sure to subscribe, like, and comment those things I just said, uh, and look out for more Blazers videos in the future. Peace guys.